I'm Adrienne. And Carrie Ann. What if I'm healthy, my spouse needs the extra help, can we move together? Absolutely. So with my couples, we look at them um, as a couple and then individually. So in the communities that we would look at for assisted living with that directed care license, like I've talked about previously, um, each individual person that moves into the community has their own individual care plan. That care plan is mandated by the state of Arizona and is, and is directed by the doctor. And so for some of my folks, like if I have a husband and a wife, and let's say the husband may have some challenges that he needs some assistance with, or maybe some memory issues, but the wife is very independent and can do everything on her own, then when we go through the process, her care plan would be, read simply, independent, needs no care. His care plan would be determined by communicating with her, him, doctors, you know, how can, what does he need assistance with is written on that care plan. And then that is what the community provides in care for him. And a big part of that is because a lot of my couples, the well spouse is declining because of taking care of the unwell spouse. Mm -hmm. So we know inherently with couples that we take care of each other but we want the heavy lifting to be done by the community and the care team so that the wife continues to stay healthy and the husband, or vice versa, and the husband gets the care that he needs. And also too, because maybe she wants to go on a day activity with her friends and he needs assistance. She needs to be able to go knowing that no matter what, he's getting his meds, he's getting the meals, he's getting all the things that he needs done. So with couples, that's how we, we work that. The individual care plans um, are put together and that changes through time. It's kind of a fluid living thing, but we can get our couples together. The thing that I tell a lot of my families that's super important too, and this is something that can be challenging, is that when my folks, and I see this a lot, when my folks stay in their home by themselves maybe too long, and so we have two folks where one is really, really compromised, whether that be a combination of medical and cognitive or one or the other. Um, then when I'm looking at environments, I have to look at the environment that fits them both most together. But then I have to look at the unwell spouse and, and many times I have to gear the environment more towards them and the well spouse has to kind of just adjust. Because when we look at two people like that, the unwell spouse unfortunately is not gonna be able to rise to the, the skill set of the well spouse. It's the well spouse that has to kind of adjust for the environment to be able to truly take care of their loved one properly. And I see on that though, does that help the well spouse because they're not having the burden of, of all of that care. Yeah. You know, so even though they're having to adjust, I feel like that has to be a burden that's released from them mm -hmm. of having someone else helping them, someone helping do take the care. Or if because they are well, maybe they haven't been able to go out in years to have mm -hmm. dinner with their kids or go out with their girlfriends because yeah. they've been locked in. Well, caregiver breakdown is a true thing, whether yeah. it's a male or a female. And it breaks my heart because I have had couples where my well spouse has passed before the unwell spouse and it's tragic and awful because they have not attended to their own needs and they're they're taking care of their loved one and many times they get sicker than the one they're taking care of um and that breaks my heart so you know that is where i really want to dig in with families to get even if it's home care if they're not willing to to look at assisted living or ready for that let's get something in to equal out that distribution of the care that's going on um because it it can be very tragic mm -hmm. so yes it changes life for everybody you know and um the other thing is is that especially for us ladies um when our hubbies need help, um, and especially yeah. as we get older, um, the gals are like, well, you're not taking my job from me. I can take care of my husband. I can do everything. And the kids get frustrated because they're like, mom or dad, you know, let them help you so you both can do well in your life. Mm -hmm. So 
it's a challenge and we have to walk through these. And that's why I love getting with people way before an emergency happens. And I hate when my families wait until, well, I don't want to talk to mom or dad, or I don't want to do this. And they want to live in their home. We want to honor them. Well, that's all great. But then when something significant happens, everything changes. Then we're doing an emergency placement. All of our options have narrowed down to what's available. It might not be what they want. So I love doing, I love getting with people and doing that way before because then we have a plan and we know what they want. 